So imagine you're out one day just simply driving along, having a good time, enjoying the beautiful colors of the leaves as they're changing, enjoying the, the sun out. But as you're driving, you notice there's something wrong. And that something is you've run out of gas. There is no more gas in your car. And without gasoline in your car, you're not going to get very far. So you pull over and you find a safe spot where you can stop your car and not be in anybody's way. And then you sit there and you think, well, now what am I going to do? I need gasoline and I don't have any, so what am I going to do? Well, get out of the car. Car likes to beep at you. You walk over and look at your gas cap and say, hey, I need to put something in there. But I don't have anything to put in there. And that can be a problem. But then somebody stops. So now imagine somebody stops and they say, well, I can help you. I will get you some gasoline. That would be great. There's a gas station a mile down the street. All you have to do is drive a half mile down this road and then I'll come go to the gas station and come back a half mile and meet you here. But I can't drive a half mile because I don't have any gas. What good would it do me for a person to tell me that? If I have to drive a half mile, well, maybe I could drive a whole mile, but I'm out of gas. Or imagine if I had a flat tire. Fortunately, I don't, but if I did and I said, gosh, I, I can't get these lug nuts off of here. And you can see all those half dozen pretty lug nuts on that tire. But I can't get them off. I, I'm not strong enough. I need somebody to help me with it. And imagine if somebody came and said, well, I can help you with that. All you got to do is take the tire off of there and I'll put the other one on. So if you take that one off, I'll put the spare tire on for you. Which, of course, doesn't work very well for you either because you can't get the tire off. I mean, that's great that you'll help me, but it doesn't do me any good if I can't get the tire off in the first place. I need somebody to do the whole thing, get the tire off, right? For when gasoline, I, I can't drive anywhere, I need you to come the whole mile and bring me the gasoline and then I can get moving again. Well, Martin Luther saw the church in a very similar way in his day. They, the church would tell people, well, if you do enough, then God will help you. If you just take those lug nuts off of there and pull that wheel off, well, then God will put the new wheel on for you. Or if, or if you drive that half mile down the road, God will meet you. God will come the other half mile and catch up with you. If you just pay the right amount of money, we'll give you a little uh, sheet of paper that says you're forgiven of your sins. And all these types of things. And Luther said, well, but I can't do any of those things. I can't buy forgiveness and I can't meet God halfway. Every day I sin and I fall short and I make mistakes. So it doesn't do me any good to tell me, well, be perfect halfway and then God will finish the perfection for you. Get the lug nuts off and take the tire off and then God will put the spare tire on there for you. But I can't get him off of there. And Luther realized that it wasn't about him doing half of it or driving half a mile or getting the lug nuts loose or anything like that or buying his way into heaven. Luther realized that God did everything. That he doesn't have to do part of it or half of it, but that on the cross, on the cross, Jesus gave his life to forgive all our sins, to bring us forgiveness of all our sins and bring us salvation and life. Not because we could go part of the way or half of the way, or we could give enough money, but because he loved us. Luther read the scriptures and realized that we are saved by grace through faith, and not by our own works, but by the work of Jesus Christ for us.
Now you remember on this Reformation weekend that God's grace is enough. That you don't have to go half a mile down the road. You don't have to loosen up those lug nuts yourself. You don't have to pay for forgiveness. But Jesus gave his life for you and you have been saved by the grace of God. Amen.